for a second. You know the ground and pound? Everybody's familiar with the ground and pound? The guy's on top of you here, and he's fucking just nailing you with shots. Now, very effective. I'm not saying it's not. But I like to find the things that are the most effective. Not that other things are not effective, but certain things are more effective than others. Right? So if I'm here and I'm going, okay, ground and pound, if I'm hammering him here, let's say I land one shot, two shots. Now what's he doing? He's flinching. He's trying to protect himself. Every human being will. People will fucking do shit like this and they'll try to turn around, so on and so forth. If I shred him, I bypass the flinch. What I mean by that is that if I'm here, rather than hammering shots into his face, if my hands automatically go into here and I start working him over, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dig my fingers into his eyeballs. Okay? From here, I'm going to bust his jaw. Okay? Then I'll rip him to his face again, then I'll tear his ear off. Then I'll grab his hair and hammer it into the cement. Okay? Then I'll break again, crush his th throat. Now what I'm doing here is I'm not pulling away. So I'm going from the palm to the eye gouge to the ear rip. And if he's, still dis if he's not distracting, if my hand has traveled, I will beat the quarter beat by boom, spitting in his face and continuing my onslaught. He's giving me fingers, part of the shredders, hey, take whatever works. I'll fucking snap that shit and I'll get right back into here. And I'll keep working that shit over. Now from here, all your partner wants to do, all your opponent wants to do is defensively disengage. That's gotta be you. <laughs> it's notorious of my students. <laughs> you have any of my tapes? You'll see them. 